Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, I mean, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. I'm a big fan of the 21st century. So today, as you saw from the thumbnail, Black Keys, I wanted to hear this cover of William Bell's I Forgot to Be Your Lover, which is what which is one of my all-time favorite uh, Stax Volt singles from the 60s. Beautiful song. But it's only two and a half minutes. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and hit the uh, third single from the new album as well. So I'm skipping the first single. Uh, it's getting some mixed reviews, and I thought, well, let's just do the second and third single. Uh, the third single is called This Is Nowhere. Together, we're talking maybe five and a half minutes of music. I put them together on a playlist. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button, bells, notifications. It really does help. And uh, check out Patreon and everything else uh, you can see in the notes. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And the second song uh, features Beck on uh, backing vocals that I'm a big fan of. Uh, but the first song is just some piano and strings. So. Let's go ahead and check out from uh, Ohio Players, it's called. I guess that's a pun on the band, the Ohio Players. Have I told you lately that I love you? this briefly so faithful to the original and yet it sounds like the black keys so that's great the strings are, are pretty faithful but there's some really cool Hammond organ in there that I, I I didn't read on wiki that 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 was in there and uh oh man that organ is really nice and then there's all that uh percussion I was reading Celeste and tambourine all these things uh uh, Dan, uh, D Dan Auerbach, I almost forgot his name. Um, great vocal. Um, yeah, I don't know that this adds anything to the original, but it's really nice. It's updated for modern audiences and yeah, it's an old classic 60s song and they've made it their own. Perfect. Uh, the drumming from Patrick is great. So Yeah. Good. Let's go ahead and, and uh, check out the next song.
Okay, so I don't mind the, the updating of the sound. This is obviously not classic black keys. You're trying to do something new. You know, and a band can't win, right? If they do the same thing that everybody wants, or lots of people want, then people say, uh, you know, they're they're uh, it, it's a it, they're spinning their wheels in the in the mud. But if they do something new, people say, ah, I don't like this new sound. I want the old sound. So, yeah, I mean, it's not quite uh, a couple. You know, El Camino. What a great album. Uh, this is not El Camino, but it's cool for what it is. What I will say is I think the lyrics are are a little uninspired because there's been a million songs. The first one that came to mind was The Talking Heads Were on a Road to Nowhere, but there's lots of uh, songs about nowhere. Or I've Been Everywhere, Man, Johnny Cash and, and uh, others did that song. So Everywhere and Nowhere, those are... I don't know, I liked it musically, and I really liked Beck's background vocals and a lot of the production, but I, I thought the lyrics were a little, um, t uh, I was going to say tired, but the word I'm looking for is overused. That's the word I'm looking for. Just heard, heard these lyrics before. So I got to dock it a little bit for that. Uh, I actually preferred the first song, uh, beautiful, beautiful cover, William Bell, but, uh, yeah, this is fine. That distorted, um, production, which is so popular now. They were doing that a long time ago, right? So what are they supposed to do? Um, yeah, interesting guitar. So I'm going to give um, I Forgot to Be Your Lover an A-, minus, and I'll give this one a B, but it means I like them both. So, um, But yeah, I can see why the album is splitting um, critics and fans. So yeah, the first single really divided people. I guess I better listen to that one too and see what i think but you know even um average black keys is still a cut above most bands i mean i, I love the black keys and 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 uh dan's vocals were great so i'm going to wrap it up here as we say here in bonita mexico buen dia <laughs>